Okay, so I've been playing around with my DeskPi Pro case, uh, which is empty at the moment, uh, because I've got it out because I wanted to test uh, what works when you don't use the USB A to A adapter. Um, because I had a question from Bob Salita, and he asked if I can fit the NVMe M.2 adapter board inside the DeskPi Pro. And I think you can actually. Um, so let's get it on the table so we can see it a bit better. But I just did this test to see if the SD card was still supported, which kind of was pretty obvious because it's got a little SD card adapter which goes through the board. Uh, what isn't working is the USB sockets on the front, and that's because I'm not using this. But that's not too much of a problem, and I'll show you why. Basically, this is the USB 3 connection, and it uses this little adapter. There you go. Uh, which plugs the two together. Uh, so I'm going to not be using this. Uh, it will stay in place because it, it helps with the structure of the case and everything else. Uh, but I'm hoping this amount of space is going to be enough and one of these screw holes will be enough to be able to put my M.2 board in there. Because the M.2 board just relies on having one USB 3 connection that powers and sends data. Uh, but everything else will still work. So HDMI full size connection still works, USB-C connection still works, analog audio connection still works because it goes straight through there. Uh, all these USBs are actually on the Pi itself, so they're going to work, Ethernet's going to work. The only thing that doesn't work is these uh, USB sockets at the front. Uh, the power connection works, the SD card works, so uh, I think it's actually doable. So let's take this apart and uh, grab the NVMe M.2 adapter. There is going to be a DeskPi Pro with M.2 but not NVMe uh, and the reason they're doing that is that NVMe M.2 is quite expensive. Uh, the drives are more expensive and also the adapter is more expensive and so the reality of putting that in a case is going to bump the price up and to be fair M.2 is lovely and fast anyway so it's not an issue but I thought as I've got all the tools and all the bits here to be able to try it and I've been asked uh, to try it I thought I'd have a go so let's take this apart okay so that's the five screws taken out so this will just lift off now and hopefully it won't fall over uh, and so you can see here this board is still connected to GPIO pins <laughs> disconnect those and I only had the LEDs connected in the end because it keeps it nice and cool anyway and I love the fact that it's silent uh, so I need to take this bit out uh, which shouldn't be too much of an issue yeah so I need to disconnect that so I can see if I can get it inside the DeskPi Pro case oh five screws thought it was four this is the little SD card adapter screw And there is, I've got a video on building this cluster case and how it was all configured together. Um, but there was a larger, a longer standoff here for the SD card adapter. Right, so, so I've got to take these four off and that will release this M.2 board. There we go. So you can see it's pretty small and uh, so it shouldn't be an issue fitting inside the DeskPi Pro case. So I'm going to have to do it this way round. Uh, there's enough space in there. I've got some screw holes. Actually, yeah, there's a screw hole. Oh, it's going to be tight. The SATA adapter is close. I wonder if I go the other way round and go through this side. Doesn't matter which way up it goes. So I just need some sort of standoff to put that. Do these line up? Oh, they so they don't line up. You see that that hole and that hole, and these are too wide. So I was going to go with a bit of blue tack uh, where this bit touches the board, which would be around about here. But uh, googling it, it looks like the jury's out. So I'm just going to put a bit of insulation tape just on it. Uh, just basically to to rise it off just slightly and mean it's not making any connection so so now I just need to pop that one screw in the top there 
Okay, so I just have one screw holding this in place, but this standoff is also meaning it's rigid. Uh, there's not much movement actually. No, I'm happy with that. Obviously, I've got to be careful when I'm plugging in and unplugging a USB 3 cable. Uh, but once it's in place, uh, you know, it, it would be left as is. And the SD card slot is still at the front. So, yeah, that's I think that's usable. Depends what you're going to use this for as to whether this is a, a good solution. So the case, obviously the fan goes on the side that's vented. Yeah, so it's not, it's not going to stick out. I'm not going to be able to put the back on the case because my USB sticks out a little bit. Uh, but I'm not I'm not worried about that because it's at the back of the case uh, and the front of the case obviously that's unchanged so let's screw it all back together and give it a test okay so here we go so I haven't put the screws in the front yet uh, because I'm just in the testing phase but if we look to the back you can see my USB A to A cable USB 3 cable the shortest one I've got uh, I've got still access to, well there's my mouse keyboard in there, I've still got a USB 2 and a USB 3 connection spare, uh, I've got access to my HDMI socket so uh, I can't put the back on it obviously, uh, well I suppose I could I could cut the, the plate if I wanted to uh, but I'm not interested in doing that really, this is just a test. So let's get it plugged in. Okay, so you can see it looks nice and neat. Uh, you can't see the cable at the back because it's behind it. So if I eject the micro SD card, so it will boot from the NVMe drive. Uh, let's power that up. And move the desk lower so you can see what's on the monitor. Do love this standing desk. And I've now running, I'm now running Twister OS on it. So it boots nice and fast and uh, it works super quick. I'll switch over to screen capture once the desktop is booted up. Okay, so let's do a quick speed test. So let's type in DIA for diagnostics. Click on that. Hit run tests. And this goes really, really fast. I'll leave this in real time. There you go. So done already. Show log. So we have got a blisteringly fast speed of 307,680. Uh, the random write speed, 15,753. And a random read speed of 17,048. So super, super fast. Okay, so if I just go to the DeskPi Pro store, so the product that I've put together isn't the product that you buy from the store. Uh, theirs is much neater, uh, and theirs will come with uh, an M.2 adapter inside the case, So, uh, and it will be constructed a lot better than mine. There won't be any uh, insulation tape or anything like that. But I just thought it was good to put this together. Uh, so GeekPi and 52Pi gave me the DeskPi Pro case, and also gave me the NVMe M.2 adapter. I bought the uh, NVMe drive myself, but uh, so full disclosure, I'm just doing this because I thought it was interesting to put them together, um, and uh, yeah, it's a nice combo. But uh, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.